We've got a Bosch Silence Plus dishwasher with the top controls. It's uh, maybe six years old, give or take. It's worked great. It's a great dishwasher. It's got the three racks and all that stuff. But we got an error the other day that popped up here. It said Aqua Stop, and it had an E and a number five. And uh, what was happening is the drain pump was running continuously, even though it was dry in the bottom of the tub. So at the bottom of the tub down there, there was no water, but the drain pump kept running continuously. I went ahead and uh, disconnected the power, pulled out the, um, the screen and the filter in there, got all of those cleaned up. They weren't really that dirty and put everything back together. Still the same issue. Put about a gallon of water into the tub uh, while it was on and the drain pump was running and it would drain went right into the sink over there and uh, drained just fine and the next thing did of course go to Google and start looking for what the issues might be looks like it's probably an issue with a float switch uh, because something's clogged or water's getting into the bottom pan so here's what I found you take the uh, foam piece the sound ending material and lift it up and this is what you've got here in the back. You've got the uh, vacuum sensing assembly thing. And then underneath, you've got your uh, housing for your drain pump and everything on this side. On the other side, you've got the actual pump and, and all. Uh, over there, you've got your switch for the water inlet, your valve uh, for the water inlet. Um, if you do have water continuously going into your dishwasher, it's more than likely that uh, valve switch that needs to be replaced. That's what cuts the water on and off from uh, the water input connection. Then you've got uh, some other switches and things. You've got that one there and uh, I think that one is what uh, kicks the water on and off, the drain pump on and off and it senses whether um, you have water in, in the sump up there. And then this whole tub assembly down here at the bottom is where water will accumulate if it's leaking. And there's some residue in here. So something's been leaking in here. This is all just calcium deposits. There's nothing uh, wet. And this foam guy right here, there's a little piece of foam right there that if uh, water does drip into this tray, this foam piece will rise up and this is a little micro switch. This is a float switch. And when this senses the foam piece rising up, it will cut things off and assume that something's flooding into the tub here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull straight up on this plastic housing. It's got two feet that go into a plastic connector here and a plastic connector on that side. There you go. There's the two feet. And if you can see, that's the micro switch right there that pushes in when this piece of foam rises up. Let's remove this. Pretty old and cruddy. Piece just broke off there. Like I said, it's about six years old, so it's not brand new or anything. And we've got a bunch of, looks like calcium deposits and things. Actually, that looks more like soap residue. Um, so what I'm going to do is clean this thing off and try to run the dishwasher without the foam back in there. Just leave this free hanging so the micro switch is not pushed in. See if the dishwasher works correctly. And if it does, that means our float switch is working fine and this was just doing its job. Then I'm going to let it run for a while and go through a drain cycle and see if there's water coming out anywhere here. Now, for you guys that pull this apart and don't find a water leak, um, which I may or may not find here as soon as I run the dishwasher, then what you probably need to do is clean out any crud that's on this foam piece and in the bottom of the tray and then reassemble it and put it back in place. Or, if you remove the foam and your dishwasher is still giving you an error code, more than likely it's this float switch right here. That's not working correctly and needs to be replaced. All right, so I took a picture of 
uh, water, about a half gallon, poured it down inside there. I plugged the dishwasher back in and now it actually allows me to turn the display on. It wasn't before, it was going into some safe mode. And what you want to do is hold the start button for three seconds so that it goes into drain mode. If you hold the start button for three seconds, then you'll see the one minute here flashing instead of the default uh, that, that goes to the wash cycle. And before I start it and go to the drain cycle, I'm going to go down below and see if I can see water coming out anywhere. I'm going to inspect as closely as I can all around there, all around here at the top and everywhere else, see if there's any water that I can see coming out anywhere. And then I'm going to put it through a drain cycle, uh, see if water comes out anywhere. And then lastly, I'm going to put it through an entire rinse and drain cycle. And again, check to see if water's coming out anywhere. Now if water's not coming out anywhere, what I'm going to do is reassemble this stuff, put the uh, foam piece after I get to, to where it's clean and everything, back in place, put the uh, micro switch for the float switch there for the drain pan back in place and uh, call it a day. But if it is leaking, then we're going to need to replace some parts. So at this point, uh, for the purposes of this video, I think that's about uh, where I'm going to cut it off. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'm not an appliance repair guy. This is just my dishwasher at home. And I thought it might be useful for you guys to see what this looks like on a Bosch dishwasher. I think Thermador might be the same if I remember right. Hope you enjoyed the video. Good luck. See you next time.